Welcome, welcome to the sanctuary of St. Mark's Lutheran Church in China Grove, North Carolina. Welcome wherever you are. I'm so glad that you found us. Worship this week is the fifth Sunday in Lent. I stand before you today with some good news. Uh, the church council here at St. Mark's has agreed and affirmed that we will regather for worship in person beginning next Sunday, March 28th at 10.30. Uh, we will regather outside, uh, weather permitting, for the Palm Sunday uh, service, the distribution of the palms. Then we will process into church and we will receive here the word of God, hear the word of God explained in the sermon, and then receive Christ's presence in bread and wine. I realize that not everyone may be ready to make that move, and so we've provided for you to hear the service on an FM station. If you drive your car and park it near the church, you'll be instructed for how you can uh, access it. If that's not possible, we also will be able to send you the service via mail or email so you can read it at home at your leisure. I invite you to be patient with us. This is going to requires some patience on our part and some wisdom as we regather. So we do it faithfully, joyfully, and safely. So may God bless you this week as we hear God's word and offer our prayers to God's heavenly grace. Trinity, one God, who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. 
Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, with steadfast love, you draw us to yourself, and in mercy you receive our prayers. Strengthen us to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit, that through life and death we may live in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 51 will be read responsibly, verses, verses 1 through 12. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. For I know my offenses, and my sin is ever before me. Indeed, I was born steeped in wickedness, a sinner from my mother's womb. Remove my sins with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be purer than snow. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my wickedness.
Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. The second lesson comes from the fifth chapter of Hebrews, verses 5 through 10. Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he had suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. This is the word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 12th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus, Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. For those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We make confession of our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of well being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.